Belladine Acoustics shouldn't need any introduction because if you've been into audio for more than 20 years, chances are you would have owned, heard, or at least heard of the name Belladine. However, if this is your first time, there's no worries. We're gonna cover it in the video. So go ahead and subscribe to the channel, smash that like button, because today it's all about the brand new 15 inch Velodyne Deep Blue subwoofer. Mm -hmm. David Hall originally founded Velodyne in 1983, which was when I was founded, as a company specializing in sweet, sweet bass. In 2019, only a few months prior to the beginning of the pandemic, my friend Masur Mamagani, owner of Audio Reference, one of the biggest European distributors of hi-fi, bought the company and in the last year and a half has done his best to turn the company around and create a new series of subwoofers. A new product line was needed to freshen up the brand and give it some new life. The Deep Blue series is one of those new lines that Mr. Mamagani has launched. The Deep Blue series offers subwoofers in 8 inch, 10 inch, 12 inch, and 15 inch versions. Today we're reviewing the 15. The Deep Blue 15 is a front firing sealed subwoofer that not only has amazing musicality, but some real thunder in the home theater. It has been primarily in my home theater environment and the impact from the tight bass that this sub produces truly hits you in the stomach. With a frequency range of 23 to 120 hertz, which will be tested in near field and in room REW measurements, allows the sub to really dig deep. I would not be surprised if it could actually hit in the teens during the measurement. I'm glad it's conservatively rated though. If you like, we can continue a more in-depth conversation about subwoofers on my Facebook group, Hi-Fi Audio Enthusiasts. It's a welcome to all and I would love to hear your questions and feedback. The cabinet is sealed in an MDF enclosure with a two inch front baffle. The entire enclosure itself is actually quite small for a 15 inch subwoofer, but I'd say that's a plus because it's easier to fit around your listening area. With a total width of only 16 and three quarters of an inch and a depth of 19 and a quarter inches, this is an ultra compact like enclosure for a 15 inch subwoofer. It has a gorgeous black wood veneer finish around the enclosure. It comes with a circular grill check it out, which adds to the design of the rounded off edges. I think that's really rad. They kept it simple with this subwoofer. The driver is a 15 inch high excursion double vented basket driver with a dual ferrite magnet motor. The plate amp on the rear is considerably basic, but can handle 450 watts RMS and peak out at 1000 watts. It comes with gold plated line in RCA and LFE ins and LFE RCA outs along with a nickel plated high level input. As with normal subwoofers, you will find adjustable level, crossover frequency and phase knobs to tune your sub exactly right. So the near field measurement was genuinely nice and linear. It peaked at around 40 hertz and started a very gentle decline without truly falling off until around 18 hertz, which is accurate from what I heard from the sub thus far. The in-room measurement, which is in the blue, revealed the flaws in my room, having two nasty dips. However, with proper room treatments, that could be remedied. And I hope to do that someday soon. One thing I found incredibly interesting about this subwoofer is its weight. It's only 50 pounds. For most of you that have watched my previous videos on subwoofers, you know they weigh much, much more than that. However, I wasn't complaining. I have put this sub to the test. I have fed it music like some of my favorite rock, rap, electronic, and classic, even classical music. This subwoofer handled it with such ease, giving off a genuinely nice and clean musicality to the lower end frequencies. I've also been using it to watch movies and shows. We were actually watching a scary movie the other night. Uh, what was it? The new Conjuring, the new Conjuring flick. And in the movie, there are certain scenes where the bass shook the foundations of this place and punched us right in the stomach, but it wasn't floppy. It was tight and forceful. 
very aggressive base, if I could say. Lastly, I have used it to play some of my favorite video games like Fallout 4, Destiny, and my newfound addiction, Apex Legends. If you're on Xbox, hit me up. The response to the gunshots and other activity in the games truly shows how accurate the subwoofer is. Its precision is quite astonishing. I love that there is no marketing fluff here. It's just a simple, powerful bass machine. No weird apps and overkill tech inside of it. It just plugs in and blows your face right off. So if some of you may have noticed in my previous videos, I have been doing awards for this year's top products. The Velodyne Deep Blue 15 is being awarded the 2021 Audio Architects Boom Boom Award, which is the highest recognition for a subwoofer and is only awarded per size of subwoofer. So this is the 15 award. If you are curious why it's called Boom Boom is because when I was a little kid, that's what I would call subwoofers because I grew up around tons of subwoofers with my brother. So I felt, why not? I wanna congratulate my good buddy, Mansoor Mamagani, for taking on the responsibility of bringing a company with this type of history and heritage back to life and immediately innovating new and incredible products. I'm excited to see what the future holds for the Mamagani family and this incredible venture. Like who wouldn't want to play with subs all day? It's crazy, right? I do have a Patreon, guys, where you can support the channel as well as an online shop where you can get some fresh merch. I would love your support and I would want to thank my current patrons who get to enjoy their own private Discord channels and get behind the scenes extras. Thank you all for watching, guys. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel because for my next review, I will be diving into the Lingdorf TDAI 1120. So stay tuned and have a great day.